spinning in but I guess not. As I mentioned a couple of videos ago I moved to Germany and that's why I am in this new place. The stuff itself is not different from before but I guess maybe I could just show my new setup. The weather is so nice but that also means the sun is like just beating down on my desk and I'm sweating. It's only for you guys, otherwise I'd have the blinds down. So when you enter the room, the first thing you see is this big shelf. Here I keep my art book collection, which I actually did a video on if you're interested. Some art zines and books, uh, Sudoku. <laughs> Here I keep all of my Japanese magazines that I use for reading practice and also just because they're like really pretty and like I'm just addicted to reading manga. <laughs> we also have a Miku and a Zenitsu here. Look at him, he's so cute, oh my god. And down here I just have two Demon Slayer Shikishis. And this is just where I keep some enamel pins and stuff. I really like this patchwork Animal Crossing one that I got at a convention. Here's my Zenitsu shrine. Can you tell I like him a lot? Um, my old Monster High dolls are up here. And this is like the, uh, what I call my pretty girls shelf. So we have um, Sakura Miku, Sailor Moon, Madoka, and a Ran figure. I'm not really a ReZero fan, but I thought she looked ridiculously cute in that witch hat. And to the side, I have my Akatsuki no Hiyona wall scroll and this Tanjiro poster that came with this art book here. And an Animal Crossing tote bag that is graciously being <laughs> illuminated by this lamp. And when we go to the right here, you can see my bookshelf. Um, I'm not gonna go over it in this video, but if you guys are interested in like a manga anime figure collection tour, then let me know. And here is my main workspace. Let's quickly start over here. Here's my easel with a painting that I'm working on right now. This is my painting card. I usually just put it like right next to the easel when I paint so I can grab my brushes and paint palette and water and all that stuff. I feel like the palette always kind of looks like an artwork on its own already. On the top, I have my brushes, this chunky as neon pink tub of paint that sadly isn't very opaque but i still like it a lot I actually painted her bra neon pink here so that was fun these are some acrylic mediums that i've been trying out not exactly sure how to feel about them yet down here are my inks so these are all liquitex and i have these windsor and newton ones and in this box i keep my favorite watercolors and other supplies that i use a lot and on the bottom, I just have like gesso, paint palettes, and um, pretty sure this is dried out super glue. <laughs> and to the left, I have this box with all of my acrylic paints, so I can just grab them and slap them on there. Um, excuse me, ma'am, I, I, I think you maybe have something- no? Okay, 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 bye! <laughs> And now moving on to the, I guess, main event, the desk. Couldn't take the one that I used before with me because it belongs to the landlord of the house that I lived in. So I got this new one from Chibo and I really like it. It's been great so far. Over here we have some drawers. The bottom two ones are empty, but on the top here I have stationery, you know, like glue, way too many post-its, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero stickers because I am absolutely freaking obsessed with that movie. In this shelf, I keep my larger like pads of paper. Down here, I have these empty containers for pens and pencils and whatnot. Here, I keep my gouache. I have this acrylic Holbein gouache and this regular Arteza gouache set. Here is my light box that I use for transferring artworks from sketch to paper. And here I have sketchbooks, this has stickers, more paper. So I have um, marker paper, watercolor paper, and just like toned drawing paper. This is my lino cut set. This is like a roll of transparent paper that I got for way too much money at the art supply store. And more like random knickknacks, I guess. My trash can. Oh, what a beauty it is. I'm gonna take the chair away for a second. And this is the main desk area. Here's my sketchbook that I recently finished, so if you guys want a tour of that, let me know. And here I keep like more stationary supplies. I have this really fun tape dispenser for my decorative tapes. I especially love these sumo ones, they're so adorable! This is where I put my beverages. This is my spinning pen thing. It has a bunny and a cat both hugging stuff, and I like it. <laughs> this is my iPad where I draw stuff. Um, I have this really cute pen cover with the sleeping bunny. 
Then we have Miss Mini Radio, still going strong. I'm always surprised how loud it is, like considering how small this thing is. It's pretty cool. And here is less stationary and more like art materials. So I have my Microns. These are like felt tip brushes. These are actual brush pens. Uh, here I have um, Faba Castell Pit Artist Pens. So it's like all liners. These are, this is the only white gel pen that still works. Like I had to throw out about five of them recently, which was really annoying, but it always happens. It's such a big pet peeve of mine. Have any of you guys ever actually used up a white gel pen? I feel like mine always stop working like halfway through, even though they still have a lot of ink in them. It's so frustrating. And my calendar that has a sticker of Utah because I love him so much. He's just the sweetest little cinnamon roll and we must protect him. I think I've shown this before, but I also keep some art supplies in here. And here are my markers. Uh, these are the ones that I recently got in the upgrade box that I made a video on. So if you're interested, check it out. These are mainly pens and fine liners. Also have some more of these like koi brush tips. Brush, brush nibbed uh, thingamajigs. Stationery for writing cute letters to my friends. And down here is just random stuff like pictures that I printed out. Putting the chair back. And that was already it for my art room, studio, bedroom, whatever tour. This video, by the way, is not to flex or show off or anything. I just know that a lot of you guys were curious about what my new like art setup looks like and um, I guess do know that I didn't like get all of these things overnight. I've been making art for a long time and I bought these supplies over a long period of time, got some of them as presents from family or friends. Whatever space you work in and whatever materials you use is totally fine. Um, this is not like a, this is how it should look type of thing. Like This is just, I guess, where I spend most of my time and draw and paint and have fun, so. Before you go, I have some shameless self promo. Um, I recently started doing TikTok and it's been really fun, like just making mini art vlogs and showing you what I do in my sketchbook. So if you want to follow me, I am at Yanni the Rice Ball on TikTok. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day or night, wherever you are right now. And I will see you in my next one, whatever that will be. Until then, bye-bye.